Let's take a look at some NetDocuments workflows in our Link app. First, I'll show you authentication. When I tap on the red link tile, it's going to ask me to authenticate with Face ID. Sometimes users will have to type in their Active Directory password, but mostly they'll log in with Face ID or Touch ID. I'll tap on the link tile now. This is the home screen of the Link app on an iPad. We're official partners with both NetDocuments and iManage. You can also put OneDrive and Windows file shares in Link. In Link, you also have your Outlook, Email Contacts, Calendar Tasks, and Notes. Link is integrated with Exchange Web Services. You can also put intranet resources into Link. For example, a SharePoint portal or Chrome River or LexisNexis, etc. We're not going to focus on that today, but just to give you a sense, I'll tap on the SharePoint tile. And this is a law firm portal in Link. Most of our law firms do have their portals in Link, typically built on SharePoint or SharePoint plus Handshake, but sometimes they're simple HTML portals. I'll go back to the home screen. Also from the home screen, in the lower bottom in the center, I'm going to tap on My Files. My Files is the encrypted local storage for files within Link. Anytime you open a file in Link, you can elect to save it to My Files in the Saved Files section. In addition, every time you open a file in Link, Link will automatically save a copy of the file to the recently viewed folder so that if you go offline later or you just want to view it later even when you're online, you always have it with you. Now I'll go back to the home screen. Let's take a look at Net Documents. I'll tap on the Net Documents tile. As an official Net Documents partner, we use the Net Documents APIs to create our own mobile app within Link. It's reminiscent of Net Documents, but we do some things to make it a little more mobile app friendly. I'm currently in the browse view. I'm going to tap on search. We have the full Net Documents search with a simplified mobile app interface. Now I'm going to go back to the browse mode. I can navigate through my documents, for example, tap on Recent Documents, go to Recently Opened, and here are all my recently opened files. I'll go back to the top folder level again. One of the things we've added in Link is the Go To feature that you have in Net Documents. I'll tap the Go To button, and here you can run a search for a client matter or if you know the document ID for a doc ID. Now I'll tap on the All American Workspace and I'll go to the Agreement folder. For every file in Link, you can always tap the ellipsis menu to the right and you have a series of actions that you can take on that particular file. Here, check out and edit. You can open an old version. You can compare versions. You can compare it to another document altogether. And you can always email a copy, email a link, or email a PDF. So let me tap on that first one, US versus Monaco. This is a PDF. If I tap on the pencil icon, I get a PDF annotation menu across the top. I'll show you more about that later. I'll tap on the second document, which is a Pen Mutual NDA. It's a DOCX. Here you can see that all track changes are displayed. And here if I tap on the pencil icon, I have a choice because it's a Word file to either edit in Office, edit with the Word app, or annotate. Annotation is in Link, and again, I'll show you that shortly. And then I'll open this third document, US versus Jason David. On this iPad, Link supports split-screen mode and multi-tab view. So for example, I can drag and drop this US versus Monaco. And if I want to, I can move Net Documents over to the other side. So you can move any file or application from one side to the other. And I'll close a few things here and move Net Documents back over here. If you look at the US versus Monaco on the right hand side, you'll see that I have my thumbnails along the bottom or I can tap on the document to make them go away. 
And in the bottom right, there are actions that I can take on the document. I can air print it, email it, upload it to one of my document repositories like NetDocuments, save it to a file in My Files, or simply download to My Files, again, My Files being the encrypted storage in Link. Here I want to annotate this document, so I'll tap the pencil icon. And I'll show you just a few of the many features in Link's annotation. I can highlight by tapping the A. And you see here is the green color. If I don't like that green, or if I want it to be a little more opaque, I can change it. And then highlight. I can strike through squiggly underline or underline. I'll choose squiggly underline. And I like the red, so I'll leave it in red. If I tap the pen point, I can write with an Apple Pencil or my finger. To add text, I tap the T, place it, and type in text. And one more thing I want to show you, although you would not do this on a court document, I'm going to tap Insert. I'm going to tap that icon that looks like a JR, select my signature, and place it. And if I want to quickly date the document, I can do that by tapping the stamp, tapping the date, and placing the date. After I've completed annotating this file, I can either tap in the white space and choose one of the actions in the lower right, or perhaps simpler, I can tap the X in the upper left, and I get this menu with four options. The first is check in the annotated PDF, then send the annotated file as an email attachment, save these files to my files, or discard these annotations. And I'm going to select check in the annotated PDF. Here's my check in menu. And here I select, do I want to check it in as a new doc ID or as a new version of the same doc ID? And I want to check it in as a new version of the same doc ID, so I just tap the Upload button. My green check mark tells me it's checked in. And to give you a sense of where I am, I'm going to close these documents, go to the top level. I can go to my Recent Documents, Recently Edited. Here's that US versus Monaco, tap on it. And there's my annotated file. And from here, I can again take one of the actions in the lower right, AirPrint, Email, Upload to Net Documents, and Save to My Files. Let's take a look at editing an Office file in Link. You can edit Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. Here I'll go to my All American Workspace, tap on Agreement folder, I'll tap on the Royalty Split Agreement. Notice that it's a .doc. I tap on it to open it. To edit it, I tap the pencil icon. Tap Edit in Office. My document is checked out. Here I tap on the Word app tile. Here Link has opened the document in the Edit screen of the Word app. I did not have to navigate to find it. I did not have to copy it or save it. It's very simple. The file opens in the edit screen. Now I'll change the company name. To Redondo Publishing. And when I'm done editing in the Word app, I tap the back caret in the upper left. This is still in the Word app, so I swipe up to exit the Word app and tap on the Link tile. Link presents this prominent pop-up to remind me to upload the document. And I will say, as an aside, if I don't upload the document, after two hours of idle time, Link will upload it for me. But here I have three choices, discard, 
ignore or the green is upload. I'm going to tap green for upload. Here's my upload screen. I could rename it if I wanted to, but I want the same name and I could check it in as a new doc ID or I can check it in as a new version of the existing doc ID. That's what I want. So I just leave it as is with new version highlighted and then I tap the upload button. The green check mark tells me my document is checked in and there it is, the royalty split agreement. You'll notice that it is now a .docx. Link has converted it from a .doc to a .docx. This is very important because you cannot edit a .doc in the Word app. Here, Link does that for you. It takes a .doc, it opens it in the edit screen in the Word app, and it converts it to a .docx. So now I just tap on it. Here you see the change that I made where I added Redondo Publishing. I'm going to close it and I'm going to tap on the ellipsis menu to the right. Here I want to check the work that I just did when I edited it. So I'm going to tap compare versions. Link always defaults to the two most recent versions, but I could choose version one versus version two, for example, but I'll leave it at version three, the one I just edited versus version two, the old version. And then I tap the check mark in the upper right. Link has a built-in comparison engine from Latera. This first page is a comparison summary and the second page shows you the change that I just made. Now let's take a look at email in Link. I tap on the demo email tile. Link is integrated with Exchange Web Services. So you have your Outlook email, and then I'll tap on the calendar icon, calendar. And if I tap on the more button, your contacts, tasks, and notes. To show you more about email workflows with net documents, I've switched to my iPhone. Here I want to show you what dark mode looks like. Dark mode is actually my favorite on a phone. I'm going to switch to light mode now because I think it's easier to see in a demo. First, I will show you some features of the inbox. Along the top, I have my folder icon and my file to a folder icon and the gear icon, which is my settings. Back to the inbox. I also have a search box. I have a sort icon and my favorite, a very powerful filter. So here I can filter by VIP or has attachments, flagged, unread, and many more options. The one I want to show you today is has attachments. So I'll tap that. And now everything in my inbox has an attachment. Link, in fact, also picks up DMS links and displays them as an attachment. First email is called operating agreement and I've put an ND in there to show myself that there's a net documents link. So operating agreement ND, I'll tap on it. And here you see a link that says open. That's to open a net documents link. I'll tap on it. It opens this file in our viewer and you can see any tracked changes immediately. I could also tap on the pencil icon and edit or annotate from here and then email or check it in or save it to my files. I'll go back to my inbox. In link, I can email a file from net documents DMS. I can also compose an email and attach a document. So let me show you that I'm going to tap on the pencil icon at the bottom. Here I tap the paperclip. From this overlay is where I will select the document to attach. I tap on net documents and I could use my search box at the top to search for a document. But here I'm going to go to all American. Tap on agency documents folder. Tap on the durable power of attorney. And you can see that my document was attached as a net documents link. Firms can elect to have the default be that whenever you send a file, it's attached as a net documents link, but that's your option. 
Even if that is turned on, I can always tap the ellipsis menu and elect to change the format, such as change it to original, which would be a DOCX, or change it to a PDF. Here I'm going to change it to PDF, and now I have a PDF attached. Link supports send and file. The law firm can elect to have send and file turned on all the time, but most law firms do not do so. If you do not have send and file turned on all the time, all you have to do is tap the envelope icon. When it's green, send and file is turned on. So all I have to do is complete my email. When I've completed my email, I tap the paper airplane in the upper right to send it. This is the filing screen for send and file. It shows me my durable power of attorney email. It shows me recommended folders and recent folders. And if I want to manually file it, then I would tap on net documents at the bottom. In this case, I want to file it to that second recommended folder, Acme Lease Systems West email messages, so I just tap on it, and my email is filed to NetDocuments. Next I'll show you predictive filing from the inbox to Outlook and NetDocuments folders. This first email is an above the law email. To file it, I can either open it and tap the filing icon, or from the inbox, I can swipe. These are my personal swipe menus. Each user can configure them. Mine are flag, file, and trash. I tap the green file button. Link is showing me my above the law email. It's showing me recommended folders, recent folders, and my manual filing folders are beneath. But here, I always file my above the law emails to my above the law folder in Outlook, so all I have to do is tap that, and it's now filed to my above the law folder in Outlook. Let me show you something a little bit different, which is filing to DMS. Here I want to file a few of my emails from CIO, so first I'm going to Tap the radio button beside that email, and then I'm going to go to my filter and select only this sender. Now everything in my inbox is from CIO, and I want to file a couple of these emails to the NetDocuments folder. So I'm going to tap one, two of the radio buttons beside the emails. I swipe. I tap the green file button, link shows me the two emails that I'm filing, and then it shows me recommended folders. I always file these CIO emails to my net documents email messages folder in Acme Lease Systems West. So all I do is tap that and they will file to net documents. So I tap it, and those two emails are filed to net documents. So now you've seen a few of the workflows that you can use in the Link app with NetDocuments and Outlook on both a tablet and a smartphone.